If you've been trying to tag your products and you cannot figure it out, don't worry, you're not dumb. Pinterest just changed things again. So this is the updated version of how to tag your products on your standard pens. Well, hello, it's Tabby with Simple Pen Media, and we are a bunch of Pinterest experts here to help you market your business on Pinterest. So with the recent updates that Pinterest put out, the whole thing with like taking away your shop tab, which I talked about before, tagging your products on your pins is even more important because you don't have your shop tab anymore. So tagging your products on your pins is just another way of getting your products seen on Pinterest. And really the top two reasons I like to make sure that I am teaching you to tag your products, that I am tagging products on our pins is because one, it kind of creates like this more seamless shopping experience for your audience, for those who are ready to buy. Number two, it increases visibility. And pinners use Pinterest to not only find ideas on what maybe they would like to have or buy, but they also shop for those things on Pinterest. So why wouldn't you have your product pins available for them to click on? This makes sense. So how to tag your products on your pins? Pinterest has made this a little bit confusing if you ask me. And I'm like a Pinterest know-it-all. So <laughs> I can't imagine how a newbie would feel. But I'm gonna try to walk you through this and help you understand what you can do and what you can't do. If you have the latest Pinterest pin format, the new you know, updates that they've brought out, this video is for you. If you don't have the new way of uploading a pin and creating a pin, whether it be video or static, you have the old way, then that video is for you. Here's why it's confusing. If you want to tag a product while you are in the process of creating a pin on Pinterest, you can only do that on the mobile app. However, if you want to go back to a already published pin and tag a product on that pin, then you can only do that on desktop. I don't know. I don't know why, and I don't work for Pinterest, but I do teach about Pinterest, so there you go. So let's look at the mobile app first. How to tag products while you build a pin. In the mobile app, you'll select the plus button at the bottom and then hit pin. You'll select your image or video or whatever kind of pin you're creating. Hit next. At this point, there's really two options that you have if you are tagging products through the mobile app. One way would be to actually show the tag. So it's like this little button that they can push on the pin. If you've been around long enough, then you know this kind of comes from the idea pins that we used to work with. Side note, if you don't know, Pinterest recently changed some things. We used to have like sectioned off pins. We had like idea pins, we had video pins, we had standard pins, static pins, we also had carousel pins. Now, Pinterest has put all of those into one little basket. So all of the features you got with idea pins are now just kind of like all in one pin format creation tool. So if you want to upload a static pin, you can do that. And you also have all the options that idea pins used to have if you wanna use them on your static pin. If you're uploading a video pin, you have the options of tagging products on a video pin or having a question box or adding stickers or tagging a collaborator, all kinds of things. So that's the side note. And that is why we have two different options when we tag our products on a pin now. So if you want to tag your products by using the little tag button, then you are going to hit stickers at the bottom and select product. You'll find your product using a search option or by adding your direct product link. And I will say that adding a link is generally easier. You're gonna find it a lot quicker if you just have your direct link. So then you're just gonna edit the size, style, color of your sticker, and then hit next. And you know, do all the finishing touches that you're supposed to do. And once you hit publish, that little tag will be clickable. If you choose to tag your product the more traditional way, then that is going to show up under your pin, especially if you're on mobile, you're gonna see those tagged products under your pin. And to do this way, 
You will complete any necessary edits to your pin and select Next. Then you'll select Tag Products from the Finishing Touches menu. So it's like the last page you get to before you hit Publish. And you're going to find your product that you'd like to tag using the search option or by adding a link. Finalize all details of your pin and then you hit Publish. And this is what it looks like. Now let's get to how to tag an existing pin, but on desktop, because that's the only place you can tag an existing pin on desktop. So on desktop, you're gonna select the pin you'd like to tag a product on. You're gonna select the small shopping bag icon in the top left corner of your pin, and then you'll hit the plus symbol. You can select a product to tag from your pins, a URL, or your catalog, and you can add up to 20 four product tags this way. Wow, that's more than they used to allow you to do. That's good. There's some options there for you. I don't think you need to be tagging 24 products on one pin. It's probably not going to be very practical, but I guess you could try it. No, I wouldn't. Don't do it. Something to note that when you tag your products on your pins, no matter how you do it, a separate product pin will be created. When a viewer clicks to shop your pin, they're gonna be taken to the close-up of that product pin and then they can click through and it will take them directly to your eShop. Okay, so there you have it. It's actually really easy. It's just that it's not very intuitive with how you do it initially. So we got that out of the way. That hurdle is jumped over. Now you know how to do it. Now it's gonna be super easy for you. Make sure you tag your products.